G'day guys, bit of a spur of the moment camp. I'm just at the Hunter Valley River near Jerry's Plains. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the cicadas, but uh, yeah, so it's about 5.30 in the Arvo. No one's here, which is good. Normally I see a few people getting about here, but um, no one's here. I might not set up my camp yet because I want to set up right there. And it's just it's just out in the sun at the moment it's fairly hot so i might go and i might go for a walk i might go for a walk up that way along the river to see what's about and um, have a look at the scenery i've never really been here before and i'll turn you around but that's where i drove It's um it was actually surprised me how how easy it was to drive here because a few weeks ago I don't know if you remember when I camped up that mountain and it, it bucketed down rain all night. Well all this was underwater because of that. But um yeah no problems at all. The mighty Hunter Valley River. You know what I've done? I brought a fire pit, but nothing, no matches or anything to light wood with. There's plenty of dead wood around here. I was going to have a fire, but uh, that's no, no big deal. See, there's the fire pit. There's my Oz Tent Bunker Pro I'm going to use tonight. That's a bit disappointing, but whatever. Plenty of firewood. Can you hear those cicadas? Shut up, I'm trying to make a video here. Right, uh, back to my car now. I'll set up camp and just relax. So there's two reasons why I love this Oz Tent Bunker Pro. You can set it up on any terrain, which is just very convenient. Like this is pretty rocky on top. You couldn't roll a swag on it or a tent. So that's brilliant. And the other reason, it's convenient. I love how it just folds out and put the fly on top and you're good to go.
Even brought a pillow. Living like a king this trip. I'm so used to inflatable pillows. That will do. Because I was in such a rush, I just stopped at the servo and got a my muscle chef, nothing fancy. Um, chicken, pesto chicken with pasta. Yeah, it looks alright. I was just going to try and heat it up a little bit on the jet boil. Didn't really plan this trip, so this will do. I can't believe I forgot the matches. You know, it's so good camping and having your car right here. Like every camp I've done this this year has been sort of like a stealth camp or I've had to walk a fair way or carry a lot of gear. But no, nah, this is this is awesome not to have to do that. And I thought about bringing my fishing rod, but I just don't want to do nothing. Do you ever feel like that? Just I just want to come out here. Come out here, sit down, buy some water, and just do nothing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, it was a bit of a spur of the moment camp. I was thinking about going to barracks and tops today and have a look up there, but you know, I really wanted to pick my son up from school and so I did that and I wasn't gonna camp at all and I thought, oh, I'll go somewhere. So I came here and very peaceful. And this is a lot different to how I've been camping this year. I've been doing like stealth camps and it's kind of been hard work hard work um, carrying all my gear and avoiding people but this is this is this is relaxing and I started a second YouTube channel you know this one's camping and exploring and I'm just having a bit of fun and the other one is kind of like a diary I guess tracking my progress more for myself and if I motivate anyone else it'd be cool it'd be cool but um, I was thinking about putting it on the same channel but then I thought if people are in the camp and they're probably not going to want to see fitness and 
people in the fitness or whatever probably don't want to see camping but what happened was the fellas that support me on this channel they support me on the other channel so YouTube must have recommended it I don't know but um yeah thanks for that So this is pretty much, this is pretty much what I'm going to do until the sun goes down. But I hope everyone's well and looking after themselves and all that, looking after their loved ones. It's about 9.30. I'm going to watch some YouTube, I'll uh, be on my phone for a little bit and then go to bed. Um, I've got both the sides open, like the fly roll back on both sides, so I've got a lovely breeze coming in here and as the night gets later and early morning it's going to be nice and cool and I think I'm going to have a really good sleep in here. But um, yeah, it's, it's been a good trip, it's very peaceful, very relaxing, you need to do these things every now and then but yeah I'll see you in the morning now I know it's just wind going through these reeds but there's one percent of me that thinks what if it's that thing from Jeepers Creepers walking in there How's that for a sunrise? Good morning Vietnam! It's about 6.30 A little bit overcast, a little bit cool actually but I'm gonna pack up and um, yeah, head home we're going around to my mum's for coffee this morning, so. But that was a good night. I had a good sleep, and um, this was a awesome little night away, so. Wouldn't even known I was here. I didn't go swimming this trip. I have a burn on my arm. It's still healing. It's pretty much healed, but there's uh, some sort of open wounds there, but. Probably not a good idea to go swimming anyway, and that's a fair dinking current in there, so being a seven o'clock on a Saturday by myself, you know, it's not a good idea to go swimming, it's probably probably not safe. I'm just going to sit in the river for a little bit. It's 7 o'clock in the morning and oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. It's a pretty strong current. Like it's trying to, trying to carry me down but I'm planted pretty good. But this is what I'm seeing. So the plans for today, I'll go home, I'll unpack my gear, I'll have a shower and then me and my partner, my son and my mother-in-law, we're all going out to see my mum, have a coffee, have a talk and just, just hang out and the rest of the day I'll probably edit this video and we'll have a movie night later tonight so hopefully you enjoyed this video and 
I'll see you next time.